Hi everybody, uh, this is Juhi again, um, Jawahar Alvi. I'm a board certified behavior analyst and a learning behavioral specialist, uh, which means that I am certified by the state of Illinois as a learning behavior specialist, which is a special educator. Um, I'm also currently in my PhD program um, uh, to finish my doctorate for applied behavior analysis. Um, and we, I am the clinical director of BASIS, Behavior and Special Educational Services um, International. So the activity that I've brought for you guys today is a story. And the name of the story is Goldilocks and the Three Bears. So I love storytelling. The reason for that is that storytelling, it encompasses a lot of language development, which means that, um, you know, when we are working with our kids, it kind of really helps to um, incorporate a lot of language activities within the children, as well as it also encourages a language building, which means that our kids um, we can build a lot of language in our kids by using um, stories and then we can also work on some goals that are related to um, their age level their age appropriateness as well as we can work on some of the ABA principles along with it too so the story that I have today is Goldilocks and the three bears so the story goes like this it's an old story uh, I used to love it when I was little um, I used to read it to my little ones too um, and I used to read it when I was a Montessori teacher also so um, the story starts like this that uh, once upon a time, there was a youngster named Goldilocks who lived at the edge of the forest. She was called Goldilocks because her beautiful locks glistened in the sun like gold. Goldilocks was curious by nature. She often looked for and found adventures in the forest. One bright morning, she set out for a stroll in the woods. She came upon a cozy cottage and peeked in the windows. When she didn't see anyone inside, she knocked on the door. When nobody came to the door, she turned the handle and went right inside. Goldilocks, did you have the best manners in the forest? She did not. Goldilocks didn't realize that the cottage belonged to a family of bears. There was a tiny sized bear, a medium sized bear, and a mama bear, and a huge sized papa bear. So here is Goldilocks going into that cottage and drinking on the, knocking on the door. Okay. And then the first thing Goldilocks noticed when she walked into the cottage was there three streaming bowls of porridge. Sitting on the table, the rich, sweet smelling porridge made her stomach gurgle with hunger. Goldilocks couldn't resist, so she took a heaping spoonful of porridge from Papa Bear's huge bowl. Yeah, she yelped, fanning her mouth. This porridge is too hot as lava. Then Goldilocks tasted the porridge from Mama Bear's medium sized bowl. Black, the, she groaned, pushing the bowl away. This porridge is too cold as gaspacho. Next, Goldilocks tasted the porridge from teeny baby bear's small bowl with closed eyes, sighed a happy mmm. After eating the porridge, Goldilocks was curious about the rest of the cottage. So she wandered into the living room. She saw three chairs and decided to sit for a bit, for she was feeling quite full. First, she sat on the Papa Bear's huge chair, but jumped up with a scowl on her face. Ugh, she huffed, this chair is as big as the refrigerator. Then Goldilocks sat in Mama Bear's size chair and again jumped up in an instant. This chair is too big, she whined. Then. Goldilocks sat in teeny baby bear's chair and began to bounce with glee. The chair isn't just a little comfy, she beamed. It's really comfortable. In fact, it's just crack right. Oh, well, she yawned. She didn't have the energy to fix a broken chair. A sleepy Goldilocks wearily climbed the stairs, searching for a bed. She plopped onto the first bed she saw. Papa Bear's huge bed. No, 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 she complained. This bed is as hard as granite. 
When she plopped onto Mama Bear's medium-sized bed, she screamed, Help! I'm sinking! After a struggle, she finally climbed out from the middle of the mattress. This bed was as soft as giant girl eating cotton balls, she said, frowning at the messy pile of blankets and pillows. When Goldilocks plopped onto teeny baby bear's small bed, she smiled, closed her eyes and whispered, This bed isn't just little comfy and cozy. It's really comfy and cozy. In fact, it's just... While she slept, the owners of the house returned from blueberry picking. Papa Bear carried a huge basket of brimming with blueberries. Mama Bear carried a medium-sized basket brimming with blueberries. And Teeny Bear carried a small basket brimming with blueberries. The three bears were not prepared for what they found when they opened their cottage. Someone's been eating my porridge, growled Papa Bear in a huge bear growl. Someone's been eating my porridge, growled Mama Bear in a medium bear growl. Someone's been eating my porridge, teeny baby bear in a teeny bear growl and it's all gone. Next, the hungry bears walked into the living room and saw their chairs. Someone's been sitting in my chair, growled Papa Bear in a huge bear growl. Someone's been sitting in my chair, growled Mama Bear in a medium bear voice. Someone's been sitting in my chair, growled Teeny Baby Bear. And my chair is broken into pieces. And then they went towards the bedroom. And once they walked into the bedroom, they said, Someone's been sleeping in my bed, growled the Papa Bear. Someone's been sleeping in my bed, growled the Mama Bear. Someone's been sleeping in my bed, growled the teeny tiny bear, and she's still sleeping there. When she saw three bears angry, she said, help, help, and she screamed running down the stairs. That was Goldilocks past the chairs, past the bowls of porridge, and out the door. Goldilocks never again went back to the home of the three bears. But she did often dream, daydream about the delicious bowl of porridge and the perfect little wooden chair and that comfy cozy bed. They really were just right. That was the story of Goldilocks and the three bears. It's such a nice story, right? So in this story, we can teach the children not to go alone anywhere. Be very careful of entering a stranger's house. We never go touch strangers things. So there is that character building that we can do with the children. Secondly, we can work on our S domain of the ables are, which is our tracing. So over here we have come up with some activities for tracing which is for the bowl and these have been taken from DLTK which is a website. Every resource over here is free of cost so you can get that from here. So this is for the S domain of ables where you can trace and it is for P. They can trace the letters and they can trace the words. So P for porridge and it is B for bed and then there is B for bears and then there is B for baby bear but there are many more on that website so we can go and you can look over there then another S domain that you can work on is coloring within the lines so that is another domain of ables R. so you can get coloring pages of the Goldilocks and the three bears from the, from the uh, even from Google you can get coloring pages and you can make the children cover the color these pages and after that another activity that you can come up with is for the kids who have a high cognition or a high IQ level they can actually go and they can like do a um, you know something like where they can actually they can imagine that they are walking through the forest and what would they come across and what would you do so this is like extension activities for writing activities which they can do and another cool activity which I found on the DLTK website was making puppets so there's a chair there is a bed there is Goldilocks 
and here is the bears so you can have them cut and paste these puppets onto the popsicle sticks and once they are uh, you know on the popsicle sticks what can happen is that you can make them play like you know a game of puppets so this is also a neat activity for fine motor skills and playing like you know once you're doing the story they can just play with you um, they can act out the story with you so that's just like imaginary play um, so that's about it for me today I just think that in one activity you should try to find more and more activities for the children to do I hope this makes sense for you I wish you best of luck stay safe stay healthy stay happy have a wonderful day